Hello everyone and welcome again to another video with Cass on the Mazuma channel. So guys, uh, what I am going to show you today is a very special creation. And actually I, I have this idea uh, for a couple of months now, but I have never uh, tried to build it before because uh, once uh, I, I was done with some aspects of the system, uh, Minecraft changed and then it changed once again and well, finally I think that now in Minecraft 1.7 uh, we, we have a, a stable enough version to try it out and I think that it's really going to be awesome. So guys, let's start. So this is a villager market as the video title says and what you can do here is to go to the villagers and try to trade with them and if you don't like what they are trying to offer you just click this button and they will disappear <laughs> and you can try it with other guys and just like this you can uh, make the in they they will re replace them uh, as soon as possible so like here uh, there is no one and the light indicates that and here as well but soon enough those guys will just like it happened now they will replace uh, the other guys and the system works by itself and here I made a little mistake so I, I wanted to point it out if you have a button here you cannot place a button here but I just wanted to to make it a curve here so you can see that the system is really really easy to expand it's also resource friendly as you can see here it's very small and it will look really nice in, in our map I'm sure of that and there's some cool aspects as well uh, extra specs that I want to point out for you here and soon enough this guy will replace here it will be replaced and so on so yeah if you don't want to look for the perfect villager this might be a, a, a perfect solution for you because it's a very simple survival friendly system to build and also you will never run out of uh, villagers because we have a villager breeder here uh, this this is designed uh, yeah, not very hard to do, but I made it myself. It's not an infinite uh, villager breeder cell because I don't like very much the idea of uh, an infinite villager breeding cell on a server because, you know, uh, <laughs> that thing happens, uh, people forget about it and your server starts lagging and this is a good thing to have on your spawn chunks because then you will be generating villagers all the time and what this does is uh, this up here is a, an artificial uh, village and we have I have here only two villagers and they will breed and their babies will be here S but you can have more if you want just add more doors uh, for every villager you need three doors so we could have theoretically eight villagers here but we also need to count the babies so what happens here uh, let me just get the spawn egg for the villager is when the baby villager spawns uh, it will try to run here because he doesn't know about the trapdoor state and because I added another iron bar here the hitbox for the, the floor is very small so he will fall down here so let's see it uh, I think I didn't click whoops let me do it alright so as you can see they fall immediately or if they stay there they will try to go to the trapdoors and they will fall anyway and when they they get to the adult size they, their heads will be inside the water and they will flow here so let me demonstrate that also those yellow blocks are here so they will not jump and they will fall down there and what happens here uh, is that uh, on this line we have another water source to reset their their fall and we can control this water source with a button down there so if you want to stop the villager breeding just click this button and the water will disappear here and the villagers will die from the fall and from this yellow block they fall 22 blocks down here so let me turn it on once again and this will make sure that they have only one or maybe half uh, heart if they jump on top there. So um, the system uh, is, is really simple. Let me show you uh, this. 
Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's it's really nice that no no uh, no villager replaced this block because it's too far. Uh, if you watch uh, Pi three one four one five thing, uh, I will leave a link in the description. He says that uh, villagers are or um, better say uh, mobs tend to go to directions uh, north, uh, north and maybe east. I'm not sure. So north east. Uh, so uh, what happens is that they will. Uh, tend to be here. They they don't like to go anywhere else. They just like to to go to that direction. It's a random thing in the game, but we also can force them uh, to go where uh, where you want by by messing with their pathfinding algorithm. So now uh, let me just show you what's behind the scenes here, and I will just place a block here. Whoops! So no. Eh, yeah. So that would not happen. Uh, what the system does is really, really simple. It's just a solid block with a pressure plate on top, and when the villager stands on it, this uh, this piston will raise, so the the villager cannot go anywhere, and the light will turn on because of the pressure plate. So when they die, the they're free. This spot will be free for anyone else to use and also guys if we now uh, use instead of a block here a piston uh, what will happen is actually very interesting because if I break this block now the villagers will map this as uh, because they, they will they will find a point here uh, with high probability and uh, they will try to go here for example and then they will map a path from there to here and it's uh, and it has a high probability because this is very slim so what happens is this he will try to go to this place and then uh, the piston will lock him here so let's try to do this uh, at this side uh, once again yeah so nobody wants to go here but if I do the piston trick once again and break this uh, soon enough one of those guys will map that there is a path from there to any block here and they will try to go out and it's happening already so let's check it out and there he goes so you can really make the system faster by using pistons uh, on in the front and you can have your floor level right here so nobody would ever notice it will not be ugly or anything like that yeah uh, there is a few issues with this system but yeah, I will work on that <laughs> later, and maybe uh, in survival I can try something, but I cannot promise anything. I just mm, my work with this thing uh, so far is just like this. And by the way, the killing system is just like this: a button with redstone dust and a uh, sticky piston facing down, so this solid block will be in the head of the villager, just like this, and. He will be killed very quickly and as you can see here, the system will open the door once again and another one will replace it very quickly if you use this trick down here. It's up to you if you want to spend uh, twice as much uh, materials on that. So let me show you how to build the complete thing. Yeah, <laughs> that spawned the villager. Sorry guy, this is not a place for you. And down here place uh, one redstone dust. And I am spawning like crazy those guys. Yeah. So here we have our pressure plate. Uh, this this can be a lamp, but it's optional. And yeah, they will be here. Uh, also, something very important. Let me just kill this guy and block the path. Uh, you you need to have your your ceiling uh, at the same height as this those pistons, because there is no 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 place for the the villagers to go if you if you lock one of them so they need to have space to jump and go wherever they, they want oh yeah <laughs> all right so this is it here and you have to make sure that you have a ceiling here so they they will not escape and also here you can place your button so you'll never get anything mistaken redstone dust uh, piston facing down like this a solid block here and your ceiling must be at that height and then you can cover it up just like this 
and here you can start building another cell just like this it's really simple and they will walk here it doesn't e even need a tutorial so they stay here they cannot jump they cannot escape it only when they die <laughs> and yeah you can repeat the process here and it's very simple it has pre damage there and you can even have some chests here it has a space so you can you can place your chests here for uh, trading stuff with them if you use glass here you can you, you will be able to open the chests and you don't even need to use glass here it's just for safety so zombies cannot I don't know what zombies can do nowadays I think that they can do anything they can lag your game that's what they can do yeah so well guys that's that's the system that I have for now I hope that you guys like that idea and if you have any further ideas just post in the comments uh, I would love to hear about your ideas for, for this thing and if you want uh, a download map for this I'm just going to fix this thing and give you guys a link so you can play with that and run some tests on your own and maybe fix some glitches if you find any on this thing it's very uh, possible <laughs> so yeah I hope that you, you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you very much for watching make sure to leave a like and bye bye what do you have for me oh I already have a stronghold oh maybe I could do an ender chest sorry hello chickens hello chickens <laughs> It's still kind of glitchy because...